Yo, what's up everyone? Zach here bringing you another Team Taste Opens. And today I'm bringing you a Team Up Booster Box. So, 36 packs of pure joy in here. So, we're gonna just get right on into it. Uh, hoping to pull some good uh, tag team cards. That's really all I'm looking for at this point, I believe. So let's pull out half the box and worry about that. So half the box over here. We'll probably need to refocus when we get on into it, but we will first pack Magikarp, and let's give you the code. So, nope, the focus isn't that bad, but there you go. First pack, and I throw that in the trash so hopefully someone gets it. And then, gonna run that over there. The energy with those, the cool new design energies. I like them. I know a lot of people talk about them, but I'm a fan of those over the plain boring ones. So we got Magikarp, Executor, Heliptile, or however you say it, Meowth, Nandoran Mail, Farfetch'd, Alolan Graveler, Brock's Grit, or Reverse Alolan Grimer, and a rare, ooh, Mr. Mime GX. A useless GX, but <laughs> a GX nonetheless. First pack luck. That's nice. I don't think I'm gonna sleeve that up. I don't think it's necessary. I do have sleeves set aside. Maybe I'll, I'll sleeve it up after the video, but all right, let's hide the code from you. Don't wanna, I think I might have spoiled that it was a green code right away, or a white code, the last one. So, for that, I'll get quicker with this as time goes on. So here we got a clef key. I feel like the focus is off a little bit. Hopefully that's good. Uh, Charmander, Mankey. Lidden, Emolga, Evelyn, Pupitar, Kakuna, or Reverse. Ooh, Shaman Prism. That is my first Shaman Prism. It's a really good card. It has uh, 30 times the number of energies on your side of the field. So it has a lot of synergy with Rayquaza and Vika Volt decks. And the rare Muck with Poison Sacks. They stay poisoned, I believe, if they evolve or de evolve. Or special conditions stay. Right, here we go. I'm gonna throw the coat over here. And then the pack. I feel like these packs keep being thicker and thicker on me. And then here we got Squirtle, Bronzor, Klefki, Pidgey, Emolga with that nuzzle gathering, Rapidash, ooh, I'm skipping ahead. Evelyn, they want to stick together. Nanu, a reverse Weedle, and the rare Starmie, which is a strange wave. You search your deck for like two of psychic or water energies and attach them. Not awful, but we'll need to find a good partner for her. I think it has the built-in synergy with Latios Latias uh, tag team, but Ultra Necrozma just kind of does the same thing for less, and, you know, I think it has more utility. All right, so here we got Bronzor, Pucciana, Nidoran Female, Pancham, Voltorb, Unidentified Fossil, Farfetch'd, Tentacruel, cruel, a reverse a Meowth, and the rare, a Zangoose Hollow. So, cool looking card. Probably isn't good, but I probably should know these things also. Yeah, headhunt, look at the top six cards of your deck, and put any Pokemon that are there. So, very mediocre. <laughs> As most cards in a set will be. There's very little that have hold competitive value. But, Dratini, Alolan Grammar. Ponyta, Cosmog, Voltorb, Hitmonchan with that sweet hit and run attack, Dragonair, Unidentified Fossil, a Reverse Beedrill, that's nice, and the rare Alolan Muck, which has a pretty interesting attack or ability. When you evolve it, you can look at the top six cards of your opponent's deck and discard all items, so there's some cool synergies with uh, Garb there, but to set it up, it's a little clunky. Uh, here we go. Here we got Omolga, Magikarp with Enter the Dragon, Execute, Heliptile, Meowth, Viridian Forest, Rapidash, Electric Charger, a Reverse Farfetch'd, and the rare Moltres. So that's like a spiritual reprint of Base Up Moltres or Fossil Moltres. It has the same attack, like discard all fire energies and then mill one from the top of your opponent's deck. So. So let's go throw this code over there, energy over here, and here we got Blitzel, Paris, Volby, Pidgey, Onedge, Jinx, Monly, Dana, Metal Goggles, Nine, oh, 
whoops, rare, rare of nine tails. Uh, cool ability, discard two fire energies, and it's essentially a Lysander, or like a Guzma, a gust effect, I should say. <laughs> when I started playing, uh, Lysander was the gust effect, so I guess I should be, you know, there's some players that don't even think of it as like a Guzma effect. But here we got it. Voltorb, Squirtle, Bronzor, Klefki, Fidgey, Golduck, Dana, Spirit Tomb, a Reverse Ninetales, just talking about that, and a rare Ferrothorn. So my hands are like dry, they're like not sticking to the cards at all. Feels kind of weird. That's why I keep slipping up. This cold weather in Michigan, it's like zero degrees out right now. Oops. Okay, let's throw a coat over there. Energy. And here we go. We got Staryu, Lidden, Zerua, Weedle, Joltik, Heliosk, Sabrina's Suggestion, Torquette, a Reverse Hitmonlee, and the Rare. Ooh, Full Art, Hoopa GX. It's a good looking card. Seems mediocre, but I'm not sure. I haven't figured out a way to really play it well yet. So. First full art of the box. Hopefully we hit one more. These boxes have pretty consistent consistently been hitting three uh, or six hits in them. So here's a code for us hitting that. And then a little pack trick. I haven't messed it up today, which I'm proud of myself. A uh, Pharisee, Meowth, a Lolan Geo Dude, Grimer, Pidgey, Kabuto, Fairy Charm, Ultra Beast. Uh, Charmeleon, a Reverse Paris, and the rare Alolan Executor. So, I think Alolan Executor is like a favorite among a lot of people. Like, it's just so goofy. It's like, takes the good, um, that like clunky uh, Executor Pokemon and kind of makes it a little more goofy. Uh, here we got Paris, Ponyard, Staryu, Onedge, Weedle, Lavender Town, Nidorino. Dangerous Drill, a Reverse Lavender Town. That's nice. I actually like this card. And the rare of Absol Hollow. That's actually a really good card that might see some play with this whole uh, skateboard format coming up. It uh, increases basic Pokemon's retreat by one. So it has some cool synergy blocking off the, like, uh, who's it called? Jirachi with an escape board still has to pay one to retreat, so that really throws off their game plan. Uh, here we got Psyduck, oops, sorry, let me, Full B, Weedle, Heliopetile, Execute, War Turtle, Heliosk, Buff Padding, Reverse Tentacle, and the Rare Parasect. So, nothing that fun there. We're almost to the first half of the box, and then we got another full half to go. Uh, let's do you guys like that? Take an extra second to hide the code, or maybe I can find another better way to hide it. I don't know. I'm bad at this, and I only do it every three months, so. <laughs> Vult uh, Vulpix, Joltik, Blitzel, Squirtle, Tentacool, Judge Whistle. I like that card. Cosmoian, Persian, Reverse Torquette, and a rare Pidgeot. Yeah, I know, like, when I'm watching, I don't want to see the code color, because then you know the suspense is gone some. But at the same time, I know I'm not great at it, so. Whoops, that is a Weedle, I believe I just threw down. It's an energy, and then here we go. Weedle, Dratini, Alolan Grammar, Ponyta, Cosmog, Alolan Graveler, Omanite, Water Memory, Reverse Psyduck, and a rare Beedrill. Just talked about that a little bit. It, uh, decent card in the right meta. If the meta's all tag teams, then you can take three prizes for one, which is really cool. Whoops. Yeah, green code. Yeah, that's why I was just saying, like, don't want to do that, but oopsies. Gonna be good. It's gonna be a prism pack. Uh, <laughs> Mankey, Pancham, Ferroseed, Pidgeotto with that air mail ability, uh, Charmander, Water, Memory, Omanite, Kangaskhan, a Reverse War Turtle, and a Pangaro. So I was wrong on the prism. The prisms seem kind of light this set. Like, one of the other boxes I saw open. It was like two black markets, and that was it, which was kind of disappointing. 
Uh, here we go. Tentacool, Paris, Ponyard, Staryu, Own Edge, Hitmonlee, uh, Dual Blade with that sweet tool drop attack, Dangerous Drill, a Reverse Puchiana, and a Rare Nita. So that Nita is a Nito. Sorry, I'm not sorry. Um, <laughs> these uh, cards are kind of weird. They have some synergy with each other, but they all are very specific. Like, your opponent has to have, like, a basic Pokemon in the active or a Sage 2. And so there's just a lot of inconsistencies. Okay, there's a code. There you go. Throw that away. Because I'll always be giving codes away, and then I try to redeem them myself later on. And then it's like, oh, it's already been uh, used. So Larvitar, Psyduck, Vulpix, ah... Ponyard, Lolan Geodude, Pupitar, Electrocharger, Charmeleon, Reverse Squirtle, and a rare Aerodactyl. That is a really good card. 90 plus 90 if you have no GXs on your side of the field. So there's some synergy there with like a Malamar double colorless build. Um, hitting 180 clean on everything is really nice. And the choice band with 210 has always been a nice number. But getting it set up is a little clunky. Uh, we've got Mareep, Vulpix, Joltik, Blitzel, Squirtle, Nidorino, Judge Whistle, Nanu, a reverse Hitmonchan with that sweet hit and a run, and a rare Galvantula. So that was the first half of the box. So we have two, or no, three hits. The Mr. Mime, Full Art Hoopa, and a Full Art Trainer. So let's put that there. Jump on it into the second half. I was going to say the second box, but it definitely isn't the second box. Um, ah, my hands are, like, not working. I, there's the energy. And here we go. Cosmog, Magikarp, Zerua. I like that art. Larvitar and that art. That's one of my favorite cards. looking cards in the set. Psyduck, War Turtle, Pupitar. Uh, Pokecon, Communication, a Reverse, of Magikarp, and a Rare, Latios, Latias, Tag Team. It's a very mediocre card, like I was saying, but it looks cool. That uh, The special art or special art where they make a heart is really nice. I'm going to eventually want to pick myself up one of those. But I haven't really hit anything that playable yet with the hits. I guess the Shaman Prism is really good, and I didn't have one of those. So... So let's give away this code again. There you go. And then, oop, my workplace is messy. All right, here we got Voltorb, Weedle, Volby, Dratini, Zerua, Metal Goggles, Golduck, Grass Memory, a Reverse, ooh, Wondrous Labyrinth. Wondrous Labyrinth. So this is kind of the fairy stadium prism card. Uh, all non fairy Pokemon cost or attacks cost colorless more, and I forgot about the how or the rare Blastoise. Kind of a max elixir kind of thing going on there. So, ah. so let's th throw the code over here and throw the energies way over there. That can go over there. And then here we got Mareep Charmander. Own Edge, Pidgeotto, Nidoran Male, Kabuto, Nidorino, Fairy Charm Ultra Beast, a Reverse Alolan Graveler, and a Rare Primeape. So, super underwhelming card, like most of them are. So, I want to get one more good hit. Let's get a Rainbow Tag Team in here. So, that's what we want. Like a Rainbow Gengar Mimikyu is what we're going to get here. Uh, here we got Mankey, Vulpix, Pancham, Squirtle, Klefki, War Turtle, Tauros, Persian, a Reverse Volby, and the rare, a oh, Gold Dangerous Drill. Yay. It's not an awful card, but like Enhance Hammer and Field Blower kind of do the things better. But a little utility in a dark deck. But this is actually the second Dangerous Drill I have pulled. And... I'm not really that excited for it, to be honest, but looks like a cool card. Gold cards are pretty cool. I'd rather have a rainbow, though. Having a gold card, or a gold uh, item and a full art trainer in the same box is pretty cool, even when they're useless. Uh, so, 
Let's give you the code there. Got another hit. Put the code over there, because I will be bad and try to use it later. And let's not waste my time. So here we got Pidgey, Dratini, Ponyard, Alolan Grimer, Ponyta, Nita, Tauros, Torcat, a reverse Staryu, and the rare Amandabuzz. So another one of those Gen 5 Pokemon that I always forget was in Gen 5. <laughs> It's kind of my, like, least played generation. And, you know, I went back and played them, and I've enjoyed them, but I don't know. It's something about, like, Gen 4, kind of. I'd rather play Gen 4 on the DS or even X and Y. Uh, here we got Nidoran Mail, Cosmog, Magikarp, Zerua, Larvitar. It seems like those are together a lot. Obanite, Tauros, Lavender Town, a Reverse Erica's Hospitality. That's nice to get that in a Reverse. And the rare Incineroar GX. So I really like this card. I'm not sure how yet, but it's cool. You can search your deck for three dark energies and attach them to them. So it kind of just gets going by itself. And then you can like max potion it. And then use its ability again. And cool little things like that. Oops. If you're taking my codes, you better be subscribed. No. <laughs> um, here we got Charmander, Mankey. Lidden, Emolga, Mareep, Spiritomb, Heliosk, Jasmine, a Reverse Dratini, and a Rare, Zebstrika. Zebstrika is a pretty cool card. It's like 30 plus 90 if you evolved it the turn. And there's a lot of lightning support, so it's, it's a decent card. There's arguments to be made that maybe Jolteon's better in decks where you could fit that in, but I don't know, they both have their niche. Here we got Ponyta, Mareep, Charmander, Onedge, Pidgeotto, Brock's Grit, Pokemon Communication, Flaffy, a Reverse Diana, or Diana, and a rare Mr. Mime Scoop Up Block. Really good ability. Uh, will definitely be played in spread decks. Who I never sleeved in Sonora. I'm sorry. All you guys always end, end up yelling at me like, oh, sleeve your GXs. But I try to do my best. I'm not one that really protects my cards all that well. I'm pretty rough playing with them. Oops, sorry about that. So, uh, here we got Puchiana, Nidoran, Pancham, Voltorb, Klefki, Nidorina, Kakuna, Buff Padding, Helipatile, Reverse, and a Rare, Zawaria. Cool looking card. I think it's pretty trash, but... Nevertheless, you have to have those kinds of cards. We have about a quarter of the box left. We're definitely getting down to it. So we have one, two, three, four, six hits. So a quarter of the box. There might be a seventh hit in it, but I'm hoping for it at least. Get, give me some tag team going. Uh, Nidoran, Mareep, Ferroseed, Charmander, Heliopatile, Viridian Forest, Tentacruel, Ingo, and Emmet. A reverse Alolan Muck and a rare Nido King. Nido King is not as good as Nido Queen, I don't believe. But I really gotta play around with Nido Queen a little more. I like the ability and the synergy with like Macargo and I don't know. Maybe I'll try it eventually, but I'll let you guys know if I do. Uh, here we got Joltik, Blitzel, Squirtle, Tentacruel, or Tentacool, Grimer, Nidorina. Speaking of that, Sabrina's Suggestion, Alolan Graveler, or Reverse Zerua, and a rare Dragonite. So, Hollow. It's a pretty cool looking card. And it's got the, you can look for a supporter once during your turn. So, like Lele, but only gives up one prize, but is a stage two. So, not as good. Throw that over there, throw this over there. Throw energy over here. And here we got Lidden, sorry, Grimer, Execute, Larvitar, Meowth, Flaffy, Morgan, Spirit Tomb, a Reverse Execute, and a Rare, Mydiana. So, didn't even know that was a Rare, to be honest. Bite, it does 30 for a Dark Energy. Broken. Um, <laughs> I, ooh, we got that Emolga. Well, let's let's get one more hit this box. Let's start you, Fuchiana, Olin Geodude, Paris, Flaffy, Jinx, Kangaskhan, a reverse Charizard. Ooh, that's a nice pull. 
like that card a lot. And a rare Skarmory. I don't like that card as much, but the reverse Charizard's a nice pull. It's only a regular non-hollow in the set, so the reverses always fetch a little bit more. So I just have so many... Oops, I just threw my energy in the garbage. Oh, well. Uh, <laughs> Grimer, Fidgey, Dratini, Ponyard, Alolan Grimer, Jasmine, Dragonair, Toracat, a reverse Dratini, and a rare Lapras. Lapras is actually a pretty decent card, I think. Uh, 10 plus 30 for each water energy attached. So maybe a one-off in those Naginatal kind of decks and something like that. I don't know. I like it. I think it's efficient. 130 HP is a nice round number to put, uh, be at. So, Meowth, Geodude, Grimer, Pidgey, Bronzor, Dual Blade with that sweet tool drop, Touch Quirrell, Return Label, a Reverse Tauros, and a Rare Bronzong. Heat Proof makes it so your Pokemon don't, or if I, uh, Metal Pokemon don't have weakness. So we got three packs left. Come on. No whammy, no whammy. Still haven't. Oh no, we got the tag team, Latios. Feels like it's almost not a tag team. No, <laughs> but it still gives up three prizes. So here we got Ferris, Joltik, Blitzel, Squirtle, Tentacool, Kangaskhan, Cosmoan, Hatmonchan, a Reverse Nanu, and a Rare Zapdos. That that's a cool pull, even though it's it's gonna be pretty expensive. Maybe like up in the ten dollar range. That's expensive for me for in my eyes for a rare card especially when all these gx's end up getting bulked out for like two bucks each so we got two more packs two more packs we got this we got this we'll be weedle heliptile execute fur seed hitman lee metal goggles gold duck or reverse lapras just talking about that too and a rare pincer grip and squeeze your opponent's pokemon cannot retreat Alright, last pack. The magic. The magic touch. We got it, we got it. And we will be in this together with not seeing the code or the back of the code card. Oops, you see, I just threw that over in my pile, and now I'm going to be disappointed when that doesn't work. So Psyduck, Emolga, Star You, Ah, Puchiana, Alolan Geodude, Kakuna, Rapidash, Return Label. A reverse Omanyte, and the last rare of the box is Alolan Marowak. Limbo Limbo. So, half decent card, but never really saw play. It being a stage one, having two retreat kind of sucks, and only 120 HP, it couldn't have. If had 130, that always helps, but the, I don't know. I like that art, though. Uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Remember, like, comment, share, subscribe. How were your guys' polls in team up so far uh pretty really pre i can't even talk i've been talking too much anyways thanks for watching everyone really appreciate it talk to y'all later Bye bye